show. Well, you're a little bit late. They've already picked the chorus. You should have been here at 10. Oh, but I was. It just took me an hour to get up enough courage to go through the stage doors. You're not Mr. Marsh, are you? Billy Lawler, one of Broadway's better juveniles. Say, I'll bet you're new to show business. Oh, I've had experience. How many shows? Any number of them. Such as? Well, this would have been my first if they had taken me. I'd take you any day. How about having lunch? Oh, I've got to see the dance director. Okay, then dinner, or lunch tomorrow. That's very kind of you, but I must see the dance director. What are you looking for? My good luck scarf. I wore it when I was elected Miss Allentown and Miss Junior Elk. Come on, kids, sing! I'm young and healthy, and you've got charms. It would really be a sin not to have you in my arms. I'm young and healthy, and so are you. When the moon is in the sky, tell me what am I to do? If I could hate you, I'd keep away. That ain't my nature. I'm full of vitamin A. Say, I'm young. You know the old saying? There's a horse's behind for every light on Broadway. I've given all I had to that glittering gulch out there, and it's been a heck of a ride. Okay, so the crash has got me down for the count, but I'm still Julian Marsh, damn it. Pretty lady's gonna put me back on top. Don't say a word. I want to do this myself. Mr. Marsh, ever since I was a tiny little girl, and saw my first Julian Marsh show. I've dreamed of the day when I might work with the King of Broadway. At last, that day has come, and I'm filled with pride, joy, and humility. Thanks, Miss Brock. I'm uh, feeling a little full myself. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to try out on one of the numbers. Hold on a minute, Mr. Marsh. Dorothy don't have to try out. She already got her contract. Mr. Dillon, what would I do without you? By the way, there are a few items you forgot to mention, so I just wrote them in. Hey, kid, I've been looking for you. Gee, you're popular today. <laughs> How about having lunch? Oh, I just promised to eat with Miss Jones and the girls. <laughs> would you, um, like to join us? Uh, no, thanks. I'm looking for a mouthful. Not an earful. <laughs> but don't feel bad. I'll let you have a rain check. What makes tanners such wolves? You know, I think it's that tight underwear they wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what makes them tanners. Oh. <laughs> Come on, girls. I'm heading to that lovely place with the window. The Astro Roof? The Automat. All right, the gypsy tea kettle. But you're gonna dance your way over there. I don't wanna waste any time. But I don't know your steps. I think if you pick it up, I'll show it to you. Okay. Hey, kid, you're good. I know. Okay, let's put it together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're not hearing me, Miss Brock. I'd like to try you on one of the numbers to see if you can handle the role. If you're asking me to audition, Mr. Marsh, I'm afraid the answer is in bed no. every morning. Oh, my God. And Rodney says, and you will always love me, Madeline. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Now, you know, Rodney, I've got a good mind to pick the first girl I see on the street. Just pick the first name who passes and say you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. Can you dance? I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and I can do any tap step ever invented. Rings, buffaloes, cramples, hey, shuffles. Take it easy, Allentown. You've got the job. So let's get moving. My neighbors are all I got it! 
over, Mr. Marsh. It may not have been easy, but I got the message loud and clear. Go back to where you came from, Miss Peggy Sawyer. That's just what I'm gonna do. I'm here to apologize for what happened and to ask you to come back. I've got a train to catch, Mr. Marsh. And take over Dorothy Brock's role in Pretty Lady. Her ankle's broken. She's out of the show. If you can do it, the part's yours. I'm sorry, Mr. Marsh. Show business isn't for me. Going back to Allentown. Think of the scenery that will never be seen, the costumes never worn, and the orchestrations never heard. Think of Pretty Lady and the thrill and pleasure it could give to millions. Think of, of musical comedy, the most glorious words in the English language. Sawyer, think of Broadway, damn it. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. The hip hooray and ballyhoo. The lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of the subway train. The rattle of the taxis. The Daffy Dills who entertain at Angelo's and Maxie's. When a Broadway baby says goodnight, it's early in the morning. Manhattan babies don't sleep tight until the dawn. Good night, baby. Our lives are in your hands. Go out there and make them shine with your golden talents. This afternoon it was acting. This one I mean. Yo, walk. <laughs> Julian, we have got to be here. All, all right, tell them to take the house to half. House to half! House to half! House to half, everybody! House to half! Sawyer? You're going out there a youngster, but you've got to come back a star. Now that we've had the rice and flowers, the knot is tied. I can bid you like to tabby I 
Street. Hear the beat of dancing 